Hey, I thought I would do a quick video about the taillight upgrade that I just did on my Holiday Rambler Endeavor. Now, like a lot of RVs that were built in this era, this one's a 2000, uh, they used automotive headlights and taillights that came from some other factory application. And on this bus, it's kind of a mishmash. The front headlights are actually off of a Ford Explorer, and the rear taillights originally were looked like this. And you see this on a whole lot of Holiday Ramblers, Monaco's, uh, things like that of that time period. So if you look at it like this, you may not see exactly what it is off the top of your head. But if you look at this part, you might recognize this more and say you think that you've seen this before. This is a taillight off of a GM square body, which would be a 79 through 81 C10, uh, similar year Suburban. Uh, they use these on millions of trucks they're all over the reason the top one is different is because what holiday rambler or monaco did was they basically just had a different plastic piece created this is the outer lens to be orange so the way that they set this up is not how gm did it on their trucks the bottom served as tail light brake light reverse light and then on the top, the top was just strictly turn signal. So I decided, I, I never liked how these looked. They really dated the truck. They were old plastic or dated the RV. They were an old plastic. The plastic was maybe not in terrible shape, but you could tell that it was aged. Uh, and I also found that the lighting just wasn't very good at night and I wanted to improve things. I wanted to, wanted to make the lighting better. I wanted to update the look. So the way that you can do this is pretty simple. I bought these aftermarket lights that are for a square body and I'll put a link to everything I use in the description uh, so you can check it out what I did. But there are lots and lots of options available on Amazon, eBay, all over the place. Find the style you like, take your pick. And what you'll notice is that these two are upside down from each other. So really, this is the factory, this is the left side light for the set that I bought. This is the right side light flipped upside down, and then I did the opposite on the other side, so I needed to buy two sets. Reason I did this was because I wanted to keep the turn signal portion um, separate from the red marker or tail light and brake light. And because this is wired differently from how GM would have used these lenses, you need to have a little creativity here. So let me talk a little bit about this, what I, what I did and how I decided to do this. You could do it different ways, but I think this is probably the cleanest, uh, doesn't mess as much with the factory wiring uh, and makes for a good visible result. So, in these two uh, bowl, these two sockets, the red ones, are 1157 bulbs. So 1157, you got two filaments in it. You got one that's not quite as bright. That's going to be for your tail light. Then you got a brighter one that's going to be for your brake light in this case. So um, the way that they did it from the factory was that there was an 1157 for the red lens and then another 1157 up here for the turn lens. Um, what I did was I bought and then also on these there's a one a number 194 in the side um, and so what I did was I just bought all new bulb sockets um, and I bought good quality brands I'll put links to those in the description as well for what I used. Um, there are much cheaper ones available on Amazon or other places. The problem if you buy those is that they are really low quality. They probably will give you electrical problems that stop working, um, and they will probably also not seal very well. One of the things, one of the reasons I decided to replace all of these is because this rubber is very hard, very brittle, and it was just falling apart. And it wasn't sealing well, um, and dirt was getting all inside of the lenses, especially on these top ones, because I'll show you there's there's three bulbs, 
And so for these turn signal ones, they only had an 1157 up in here. The other two didn't even have plugs, they were just open. And so over the years, there's a whole lot of dust that gets in and you could, you could clean it out and improve it, improve your lighting quite a bit, probably just from doing that. Um, but another thing to note is that these stock lenses are kind of just a silvery paint as opposed to these have more of a chrome finish that's actually going to reflect the light better and give you a brighter light all around. So what I did was I got two 1157 sockets for each side, so four total new ones, soldered them together, make sure that you test the wiring so that you get the correct wire going to the correct filament in the bulb, otherwise your tail lights will be super bright and your brake lights will be much dimmer, that's not what you want. Um, the bottom here, turn signal, this is, or uh, reverse light rather, that's an 1156 bulb, so I bought a socket, bought four sockets for the pair for that. This one just wired right in. This one is an, it was an 1157 bulb the way they had done it before. I made this revert, this would be the reverse light on the top, but I put an 1156A, that's the amber one up here, with an 1156 socket and put that in and then 194 sockets on the side a um, little bit confusing but ultimately it's, it's really not too difficult you can either use uh, just crimp connectors or solder it i soldered it because that was going to be easier for me um, but really at the end of this this looks a lot better in my opinion and it definitely works a lot better i turned it all on in the shop last night with all the lights off and with it dark and you could you could see everything much better than what you could before updates the look not very expensive i bought ones that had smoked lenses because i think that look works better uh, for the colors on the bus or you can buy whatever look you like um, there's there's a whole lot of options i think the iphone is not picking up all that much um, it is a very light smoke tint so it's not something that's going to obstruct the the uh, light output from the bulbs significantly. Um, the only thing I will note on these particular ones that I used is that the sockets for the 1156s on the housings, I just had to file with, um, with just light file. Uh, they were just a little bit too small. The 1157s and the 194s, those worked just fine. Um, but the, the but these 1156 sockets needed to get filed just a little bit so you can use the same sort of idea along with pretty much any rv from that era uh, a lot of them also use lights off of a ford econoline um, so you can find those some later ones i've seen ones that look like they use lights from a chevy avalanche um, the the lights will have some kind of sae number on them uh, usually on the bottom is where these are. Now I'm holding up the amber one and this amber lens actually has the SAE number that matches this light because GM never made this amber lens. And so um, this could also be a reason why you want to go do something like what I did here because maybe you broke your amber lens and you can't find another one. Um, I guess I'll probably put these up for sale in case anybody does want them. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. The lighting is a whole lot better. Um, everything is new and freshly sealed, so it should help to keep dirt out at least for a while uh, longer. And it, it definitely makes the thing look a whole lot newer and more updated than it did before. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, check out the links to see what I used. Um, again, there's lots of other options, buy whatever you like, like the best, but I, I would definitely recommend getting a good quality sockets if you're gonna replace yours. Um, they, they do cost more, no question about it, but I just didn't wanna mess, have to go, ahead, go back and do it again with the low quality sockets. And if you re read the reviews on the, low quali on the cheap ones, um, it's pretty clear you get what you pay for. So thanks again, have a good day.